Good morning. Welcome to St. James Sunday Service. We're here in Painesville. I'm gathered only with my household, so I am not wearing a mask. And at this time, on October 22nd, while Lake County is deemed in the red level for contagion, we will not be meeting in person. When that level goes back down to orange, and we do meet in person for worship, we will all be wearing masks. As the Episcopal Church, we use the Book of Common Prayer for our worship. If you don't have one at home, there is a, a version online at bcponline.org, and that link is found in the description of this video, along with a link to our readings. We begin with Holy Eucharist Rite 2 on page 355. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. On page 356, let us join together in the Gloria. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our collect for today is found on page 235, the collect for Proper 25, found on page 235. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We now proceed to our readings, the psalm, and our sermon. A reading from Leviticus. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. You shall not render an unjust judgment, you shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. With justice, you shall judge your neighbor. You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Please join us in reciting Psalm 1 from the Book of Common Prayer. The page number is found in the description of the video. Psalm 1 in the Book of Common Prayer 
will recite the psalm responsively, breaking at the asterisk. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord. And they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes. Nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked is doomed. A reading from Paul's first letter to the theologians. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain, but though we had already suffered and been shamefully maltreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never come with words of flattery or the pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise for mortal, from mortals. Whether from you or from others though, we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Christ. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment is in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now, while the Pharisees had gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They said to him, the son of David. He said to them, how is it then that David, by the spirit, calls him Lord, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give him an answer. Nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise to you, O Christ. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God. Amen. We call ourselves Christian. Christian. The term was coined in the second century as a belittling descriptor. It means little Christ, a mini-me of our crucified and humiliated teacher. The Jesus movement turned it upside down, of course, 
because following the teachings of Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, means that our central purpose, because of our baptism, is in fact to save the world, despite the cost, just as Christ did. And if we are not committed to this path, to Christ's way, to bend the world toward God's shalom, a great peace, then we should not use this title. Being Christian is terribly hard, but simple. A man asked Jesus, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, as we heard today, you shall Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second, Jesus said, is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and all the prophets. Be Christian. We will fall short and rebel and forget and get confused or selfish, but we're invited to repent, to correct our way. And it's really simple because the guidepost is clear. Love God and love your neighbor. Because God loved you first. There is nothing in you that is unlovable to God. You have a terrible temper. Loved. You're terrible at public speaking. Loved. You have crooked teeth or a schlumpy body. An embarrassing laugh. Loved. You have a background full of bad choices and meanness, and sin, you are loved and forgiven, I might add, and welcomed by Jesus. So how then can a Christian, a little Savior, reject you? We cannot. Listen again to the collect for today, what it is that we pray God grants us as a community and as individuals. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, which can also be translated as love, and that we may obtain what you promise Make us love what you command through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God loves every person, and you must as well. And then we act accordingly. Love God, love your neighbor, and we will change the world. Amen. We continue on page 358 with the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now continue with Prayers of the People, Form 6, found on page 392. Form 6 on 392. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the Gospel and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop. For Mark, Arthur, William, our own bishops. And for all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. For those on our prayer list, parishioners, friends and family. All those who serve as, as first responders, health care and essential service workers, the armed forces, and all those suffering the effects of this pandemic. And those we now name before you. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, for parish birthdays and wedding anniversaries. We also thank you for the marriage of Matt and Linda just this past Saturday. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, especially for Samuel Kerr and those who are victims of COVID-19 and violence, and all we name now. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We return to page 360. Page 360. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name amen almighty god have mercy on you forgive you all your sins through our lord jesus christ strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the holy spirit keep you in eternal life amen, amen. the peace of the lord be always with you and also with you. Peace be with you.
On behalf of the Vestry and Treasurer, I thank you for your ongoing generosity in these difficult times. We invite your gifts of time to be offered in prayer, in reaching out to those around you, both friends and family, as well as strangers who need our assistance. Offer the world love. Your monetary gifts may be given by mailing in a check, using your bank's online tools, or donating online at our website or the diocesan website, whose links can be found in the description of this video. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name, bring offerings, and come into his courts. We continue with Eucharistic Prayer B, beginning on page 367. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, 
who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us in your Son. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with Saint Mary, the Mother of God, Saint James, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them spiritually in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. As I consume the sacrament on your behalf, I invite you to say a prayer for spiritual communion that can be found in the description of the video. 
the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. O Lamb of God, in union with the faithful at every altar of your church, my heart offers you praise and thanksgiving. I love you above all things, and I earnestly desire to receive you into my soul. And although I cannot receive you sacramentally, I invite you into my heart spiritually. May my soul be fed by this spiritual food, and may my heart know you more dearly in the breaking of this bread. Amen. Amen. We continue with the post-communion prayer on page 366. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, Send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Again, I hope you can join us at 11.30 for the Zoom coffee hour, and the information for that can be found on our private Facebook page. And now for this very familiar blessing. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.